John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and today I have Knife Palooza Part 2. Uh, we've got to go through these other knives that I received last week. It was just an awesome week of knives, and I said before that there were seven knives I received. There were actually eight, <laughs> so I forgot about another one. So um, I actually think it came the week before that, but I'll include it in this. And uh, just an incredible show of generosity, but also uh, just excellent trades um, for some leather work that I've done recently. So I wanted to share the rest of these with you. And uh, again, check out part one. That was all about all the uh, Rough Rider Classic uh, Carbon Series knives I received in the giveaway that I won from Ken's, uh, his Last Chance Knives channel. And uh, from Ken, and I thank you, Ken, once again. So here are the knives, here are the rest of them, and there's some good ones in here. But um, So I really appreciate them. So one I uh, had forgotten was uh, Ray at North Star Knife Review sent this little Rough Rider Barlow along, and uh, just, just an awesome little knife, and uh, just enjoy it very much. And uh, so thank you, Ray. I appreciate that very much. I collaborated on some leather work with him and uh, uh, for Tom, and this was part of a thank you So for that. So thank you, Ray. I appreciate that very much. So the Rough Rider, I'm going to see what the, forget what the number is on that. I'll give you the number. Oh, it's a um, Rough Rider 201, I believe. Yeah, 201. So if I'm wrong, I'll put uh, the number down below. But that was really cool. Thank you, Ray. I really appreciate it. And then I did some leather work for Ryan, um, who is also called Shore Sharp. And you sometimes see him commenting on videos in the community. And I've done several projects for Ryan in the past. And I did a project for him this time. And um, it was a combination knife slip and card holder. And I've done that before, and he wanted a little bit different version, a little bigger one. And um, <clears throat> so I actually had to, I made one, and it was a little too small, and I had to go turn around and make another one that was a little bigger. So he actually got a couple out of the deal. But uh, we talked about, he's like, well, how much do I owe you, and all this sort of thing. And, and so we talked about a trade. And so... Uh, he uh, presented a trade that I just really um, am enjoying. So I uh, he sent along a case. So there's the box, red, white, and blue, and it is an antique smooth, uh, antique bone smooth Barlow fluted, and this is from two twenty five twenty nineteen. And you can see there, tested XX, and here it is. So that is just beautiful. I love the color of that bone. Um, just gorgeous. He did say he used the knife a little bit. I don't care. Um, it's in excellent condition. Uh, he said there was a little bit of gapping in the back, but I, it's just, you can just barely see it right there. Um, it's got the single spear point blade, true sharp stainless. There's the Tang stamp. There's the number 61009SS USA. Half stop, nice snap. I, cl I cleaned it, I polished it, and uh, just tuned up the edge just a little bit. Oh, this is just a beautiful knife. Thank you, Ryan, very much for this. Um, I believe this was the 2019 vault pattern, um, if I'm not mistaken. And so uh, I just really appreciate that very much, Ryan. Um, that's a beautiful, beautiful addition to the collection. So two Barlows. And then RW. Oh, my gosh, what am I going to say about RW? He is so generous, and he's been very, very kind to me. Um, he won my giveaway, one of my giveaways. I can't remember what it was, the 750, I think, when I hit 750 subs. And um, we've been talking back and forth ever since, and he sent me a really beautiful 
uh, Frost, Trapper, um, I think it's the 45th anniversary or something like that, or 25th anniversary, but it's just a gorgeous Frost Trapper. And, um, and so we've sent things back and forth, and I've sent him some things. And so um, he and he wanted to do the strop for Randy, and I mentioned that in the previous video. And if you haven't seen Randy's video, you need to check that out. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. You know, we started talking about, you know, compensation or whatever. And I was like, you know, we could just, there is a, a knife I was looking at. And uh, if you want to just buy that for me, that'll, that'll satisfy me. You have that sent to me as a trade for it. He's like all over it. That's great. So the knife that I talked about was a queen. And... It is the QN010. You see they come in these beautiful boxes. And it's the magnetic front. And this is a very popular knife. Um, it's been all over YouTube. And uh, the people in the community, uh, some of the YouTubers have gotten this knife in the community. And I've just been really impressed. And so this is the knife that I was talking about it is the queen and uh, I gave you the numbers there before it is made in China it is the saw cut bone single blade Warncliffe and kind of a serpentine and it just feels really good in your hand and the fit and finish on this knife is absolutely incredible and look at the blade centering straight down the middle the pole is wonderful the snap there's no blade wobble it's super sharp i don't know what steel this is i think it's probably a 440 something uh, would be my guess but it could be a 420 i don't know but i just love it it's great so um the pins are uh you can feel them a little bit you can feel them a little bit, but transitions to the bolster and everything's great. I've seen some people with their shield, the shield on this being crooked, but it's dead on on this one. And so, from my understanding that um, this is Queen is now a Smoky Mountain Knife Works company. Um, but you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. I need to move that box because it's kind of big, but... So that's the next one, and that uh, that was from RW. Thank you very much, RW. I really appreciate that, and um, I I love that knife. That is just going to be a, make a great addition to the to the collection. Oh, I need to show slips. So this one is going to go in this slip here. I made this was some scrap leather that I purchased at a leather shop, and I made a couple slips out of it. And uh, this you have to kind of pinch from the bottom just a little bit. Comes right out of there. So that's where that one's going to go. This one's going in sort of a little bit of a funky slip that I messed up. <laughs> and it just per fits in there perfectly. So I'm going to carry it in that, I believe. So there's the slips um, for those two. And then there was another one. So... I got the queen and I was just really happy and I was texting with RW and he's like, Oh, he texted me a tracking number. He's like, Oh, forgot to tell you, you got another one coming. Uh, what? And <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. So, um, sure enough, a couple days later, then this shows up in the mail, a box with this knife in it and it's the Nola Chucky Jack from Rosecraft Blades and there's the box for it um, you know they slide out like that I was just floored um, it even came with a Rosecraft sticker and here's the Nola Chucky Jack and is that not beautiful or what I think this is called Antique Moss Brown or something like that. Bone is the name of that. And I was watching um, TK and Slippy yesterday, watching the recording. I couldn't watch it at the actual time, but I watched the recording. 
and apparently they were trying to get a different color and this was a mistake and that was uh, from Andy Armstrong was on their show uh, talking about some of the knives that he's designed and so it was designed by Andy Armstrong D2 steel beautiful spear point blade this thing is perfect um, there is not a gap it snaps like crazy um, dead on centering um, it's beautiful um, it's probably one of the most beautiful knives I think I've ever um, purchased or had in my hand well, I didn't purchase it was a gift from RW I'm just such a generous gift and that I've ever had in my hands it's just gorgeous I was blown away by this uh, RW I don't know what to say to you my friend um, I do have a little package for you that's going to be coming soon you know a little bit about it I did throw a couple other little things in there but it's you know it's just amazing this community how generous they are and part of what he said was he just wanted to show his appreciation for all I do and I I just for the community and I just um, I'm just floored by that I'm humbled by that I don't really think I do that much um, I just show my knives and I try to support other people as much I, as I can, but this just blew me away. Um, words cannot express, uh, how much I appreciated that gift. He saw me drooling over this thing in that video on Rosecraft blade knives. And, um, he was like, I just, you, you just hesitated too much over that knife. And I believe I did say I would like to have one of those one day. And that I was looking at them. But, you know, RW, I would have been fine with this. <laughs> but this is just, it's just amazing. So, um, again, I feel like I'm kind of hovering over this more than these others. Uh, I appreciate all of these. Um, this, this case is amazing. Um, all of these are amazing. Uh, but this was just, this blew me away, too. Um, and I love Rough Riders, and I this queen I've wanted forever. So it's just been a really great week uh, for the knife collection and just uh, receiving gifts from the community and just great trades. I mean, really, really need to talk to people when you trade with them, see pictures and that sort of thing. He, uh, Ryan, has always been really generous with his trades. And... Uh, and I knew that if he suggested this, it would be good. Um, I've done work with him and trades with him before, and I trust him. So, RW, you're just amazing. Thank you for what you did for Randy as well and others in the community. And, of course, Ray. Ray was just had such a big heart uh, to want to do something for Tom in commemoration of his um, father passing away so i was glad to participate so with that thank you all for watching